Hey everybody, it is I, Sakamoto, and I am back at it again with another episode of Undertale. Here today with you, my friends, as we venture into Snowden Town. And yeah, um, so I noticed that with my last recordings, uh, the fan noise was pretty loud, so sorry about that. Um, I have an external fan because my computer gets hot easily when I play games, but... And it's summertime. <laughs> and I live in a very hot area, so... And my fan on my computer sucks. I don't know if I already said that or not. But you know what? I'm like, let's try to play without the fan for this. Um, at least for this game, right? For now. Um, Alright, let's just get into it. Bye. Manly bandana. I'll take it. Oh, I think this thing you can. Yeah, you can use this twice to heal your HP. My own recipe, huh? Interesting. Do you have any. Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but. If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. <laughs> Talk. Here to chat. Hi, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What to do here? Want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillbees has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. <laughs> There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the cavern. Sorry. <laughs> Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Or a ghost or you can burrow under the door. Interesting. Makes it seem like... I mean, games put that kind of stuff in there to give you kind of a hint as to how you could make stuff happen. Hmm. Your life. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Take your time. Bye now, come again sometime. Sorry if I didn't make her voice a little higher. I did not want to butcher attempting southern accent with a uh, feminine voice. <laughs> I wonder if I could do it. Hi, I'm... Yeah, see, it just, it doesn't work. Anyway, welcome to Snowden, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is ADG. Leave. Well, feel free to come back anytime. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. Oh, that's cool. Oh, maybe I will... Dialing. I'll be picked up. Of course she didn't. She hates me right now. Okay, what's upstairs? We can't go up there. <laughs> uh, we got a lot of money. Maybe I will be able to stay there. Oh, I mean, obviously. Whoa, I forgot about this. That's cool. Don't want to walk to the other side. Try to drive the other side. They're officially laid out. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. Okay, so if you start with a feminine voice, you can get an accent. Got it. And maybe I wouldn't have butchered it. Whatever. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. Why has everybody here got a southern accent? So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath the decorated tree. Oh, that's cute. 
It's a decor carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed to from Santa to various locals. Guess it was a good thing those teens tormented that monster. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. <laughs> Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. I like my mouse voice. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything. We can't do anything, so why be mor we can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Got it. Ugh, anyway. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and, and hot eyes. Mm, isn't human food? Sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> the jukebox is broken. Capital's getting pretty crowded. So I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butts. Uh, okay. Grilled said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Ha! <laughs> Hilarious. All right. We are centuries, but we never get any respect. Of course, those skeletons would throw us a bone. Love bones. <laughs> you better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Aww. I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. Make a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. <laughs> it's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Poor guy. Lloyd put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. <laughs> Fuck the fish like a boss. Sorry. <laughs> Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Sweet. Hey, right, that was fun. Fun little grill bees area and stuff and blah 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 blah. What's up here? Let's find out. Let's play monsters and humans. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Oh, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Okay. Oh, that's what that noise was. I can't talk to him, though. That's interesting. I wonder why that's occurring. Ah, uh, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, uh, my patience rewards me. Ah. Uh. Okay, fine. I, I, I give up. You win. I'm not gonna answer. Nothing to do over here. We this away time. Library. Okay, guys, let's go to the library. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? Hey. I I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. <laughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. 
I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Great. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made out of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Uh, blah, 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 spoilers, because we're going to start from the left and work our way right. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Uh, then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. Okay, so I guess there's no monster history part 1, 2, and 3? Alrighty then. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than, the, than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it! Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their souls. The monster doesn't want to fight, it def its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Um, let's end this chapter here. Monster History, Part 4. Okay. Hearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names? Wait, there's one more thing to look at, I think. No? Okay. Alright, what do we got here? It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. Okay. This. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I already knew, but. You know what? Sorry for spoiling everything. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside. Yes, it's empty. Aw, poor Papyrus. Sans, the popular one, doesn't read his mail. Papyrus, the unpopular one, has no mail. It's locked from the inside. What? You guys wanted me to go visit Papyrus and Sans's house? Well, why didn't you say so? Let's go do that. Oh, it's locked. Never mind. Guess we're gonna keep walking. Actually, I'm gonna go stay at the inn. I'm gonna stay beforehand just in case what I think is about to happen isn't about to happen. But it might. And, oh shit, I need to go into the igloo here. That way, I can have a little bit of extra health. Well, this is fun. Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you're only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Oh, cool. Thank you. And I have 30 HP. I got it for free. Hell yeah. Frick yeah, guys. Frick yeah. Fricktastingly fricktastic. to tell you some uh, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills the desire to have a cool smart person think you are cool 
These feelings, they must be what they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks away. Flirt. What? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I am a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no, you are meeting all my standards! <laughs> I guess this means I have to go on a date with you? Let's date later, after I capture you. Well, that was hard. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. So, you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Man, this is really hard. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh boy, Papyrus. You're a tough one. Oh shit, I moved. But I turned blue. You're blue now! That's my attack! <laughs> oh, drums! Hold on, guys. Oh, it's... okay. Um... Fighting to flip back. Let's date later! Oh, okay, you can hold up and, like, stay there in the air for a second. <laughs> he got some bone cologne behind his ear. Let's see what happens with you. Okay. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Oh, that... <laughs> he got some marinara sauce behind his ear. <laughs> Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. MTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. Whatever that means. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I can almost taste my future popularity. MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. What's your favorite anime, Papyrus? Mine's the melancholy power he sues Mia, by the way. In case anybody was wondering. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. Oh shit, how do I get that? I have a turkey now! <laughs> MTT brand cute juice. <laughs> how many different kinds of cologne is he wearing now? Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti. Yes, yes, you are, Papyrus. I hit that bone at the like exact right time for the note to hit it too. Uh, in the song. Anyways, okay, now we got MTT brand attraction slime behind it. Okay. And I will be really proud of me. And I broke at the right time too. TT brand beauty yogurt. What should I do? I guess the king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Okay. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Oh god. My brother, well, 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 he won't change very much. <laughs> Rattling his bones. I'll have lots of admirers, but. Ok, 
carrying a bone attack. Don't worry, Spider didn't. Your HP was maxed up. Will likely... Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Aww. I don't know, buddy. I was just trying hard to play it cool. Someone like you is really rare. Paris is considering his options. And dating might be kind of hard. Shit. I was just trying hard to play cool. Flirt. After you're captured and sent away. It's hard to follow your sentences when you keep breaking them in between these fight patterns. That's okay. Hopefully the audience is able to pay attention. The Pyrus is trying hard to play cool. Let's try sparing him again. Ugh, who cares? Give up! Uh, I'm trying to hit that note with a whistle. That was close, right? Smells like bones. Give up or face my special attack! Um, does that mean the fight's almost over if you do your special attack? Pirates is trying hard to play cool. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack! Good. <laughs> is this as sweet as you? Your HP is max max up. Not too long and I will use that special attack! Hey, we can use all my money and stuff. Oh, I guess I could go back to the inn and get extra HP. Hmm. This is your last chance before my special attack. I think I remember the special attack is kind of cool, actually. Shit, I'm gonna need to use another fucking... Uh, okay. No, I can't use that. That's the little snowman. Monster candy. Very unlicorice like Interesting. Behold, my special attack! Oh. What the heck? That's my special attack? Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Oh, this is what I was talking about. Um... I think we'll be okay. Here's... Here's an absolutely normal attack. Oh god. Oh god! Help! Help me, mommy! Or at least make it so I don't die. <laughs> cool. Dude. Skating bone guy. Oh, shit. Okay. We'll, we'll do that then. Somehow. Magically. Is that it? Can I not die now? We're done? Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Okay. You. <laughs> I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quality will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? <coughs> well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Why are we? We haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. <laughs> Who knew all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? 
<laughs> you taught me a lot, human. Just like every anime ever. <laughs> I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters, he is... Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> he just walked all over the water. Hey, I didn't know Papyrus was Jesus. Pretty cool. Alright, I'll talk to you in a... You know what? My health's not important right now. So you came back to have a date with me. You must really be serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special, a place I like to spend a lot of time. Oh boy, where are we going? 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 My house! Oh, your house. Cool. Alright. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You move. You, you moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Alright, that's the kitchen. You touch the couch, it makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold? It's a sag old couch. It's a joke book. Take a look inside? Yes, inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside, inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside, and there's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> ah, I got the joke. Did you guys get the joke? Ooh, it's my favorite game show. I'm trying to figure out quantum because it, quantum physics is kind of like that, where you just go in an infinite loop of not being able to figure it out. Anyways, it says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Okay. We got a trash can. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. My brother always goes out to eat, but... Recently, he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How oh, absurd! Wait, sugary non-egg substance. Can't think of what it is. Oh well. Maybe you guys let me know in the comments if you know what he's talking about. Impressed? Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! <laughs> Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! <laughs> Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please pursue my culinary art show! Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm having such a time here. Alright, what do we got? A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Door's locked. You can't go inside Sansa's room? Okay. That's my room! If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they eat? Go inside? Yes. Um, anyways. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it was basic even though it basically just happened. That's my bed! 
If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. I feel bad for Papyrus. He doesn't have skin or hair. So how's that even going to happen even if he did get to the surface? Oh well, who cares? Isn't that flag Nito? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human I think it's from the human world? Now I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the closet, yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Computer. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns and a goofy font. <laughs> oh, jeez. Probably Sans. That's one of that book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Ah yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. So I want to go on the date, but I think you go on the. <sighs> Alright, a battle mode, and I don't know if you can lose HP, but let's just figure it out. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? You have a date? Yes. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are, on a date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C on your keyboard for dating HUD. Hmm. Wowee, I feel so informed. Why is crime on there? <laughs> I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem, human. I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Really? Wowee! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing, that bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes. <laughs> no, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't think you're best in me yet. I, the great papyrus, I've never been be been beaten at dating and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. Cool dude. Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment! <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you said is just invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move an Inspector Z. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip? All clothing articles can be improved this way. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer? No, I must resist. There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. There's no secret to... Okay. About your shoes. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. My hat? My hat? My hat! Yeah! Well, well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present is just for you! Open it. Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right? But oh, so wrong! This ain't any old plain old pasta! 
This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking, and by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ugh! Ugh! No! <laughs> Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is this hot in here or is it just me? <laughs> oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way that you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that before, because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. And then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before, and instead by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend, and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you, because I don't even have lips. And hey, somebody, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Oh no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, there's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Hmm. Well, that was fun. Little did Papyrus know, we didn't ever really feel any kind of way about him either. But, you know, we'll let him think whatever. Who cares? We always only ever wanted to be friends with him. As far as Frisk, Frisk is concerned, though, I don't know. Um, I mean, who knows what's going on in that little head of his, or hers. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Save. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this episode of Undertale, because the whole point was to just visit the town. Next time, we're going to go into the next part, which is where we meet Undyne, I think. And yeah, uh, who's the, you know, cap captain of the Royal Guard. Um, and then do whatever else after that, I guess. I think her, the music for her boss fight is actually really cool, so look forward to that and whatever else happens before and or possibly after that, depending on how long it takes to get to her, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. I'm rambling and rambling and blah, 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 blah. You don't want to hear me anymore, do you? No, we're done with the episode. You guys got other things to do? Okay. All right, I understand. Have a great...